stand before the Elden Ring. To be the Elden Lord. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you an extremely broken madness build. Today, we are going to rock the Grazer of Damnation and a lot of frenzied flame incantations to create a very similar setup to Midras boss fight. These type of builds are very underrated because most enemies of the game are immune to madness status effect, but the performance it can reach as a fire holy damage build is quite impressive. I know that the applications of the Golden Crux skill are pretty pretty limited, however, you can also use this skill in most situations without dealing a very very bad damage. The only thing that you will not have is the special animations that only can be used against NPC like enemies. We have a lot of pierce damage with this weapon, a decent amount of split damage between physical and holy damage, and we have the unique arts attacks of the claymore. So we have a very decent greatsword here. And speaking about the frenzy flame incantations, these things are most powerful if you see it as fire damage sources. If you want to use it as a source to build up madness, you are going to end up frustrated because there aren't a lot of enemies that are vulnerable to this status effect. But believe me, if you use these incantations as a fire damage source, you are going to deal a ridiculous amount of damage quite fast. Today I'm going to be using this build to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. To get the max performance possible and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 37 on Mind, 40 on Endurance and Strength, 15 on Dexterity only to be able to use the weapon and 80 on Faith. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. Frenzied Burst, the Frenzied Flame, Unendurable Frenzy, Unescapable Frenzy and Midras Frenzied Flame are going to be our main sources of damage. The last one, Midras Frenzied Flame is not very good when it comes to deal damage but it's very good to build up madness on ourselves to proc our buffs faster. This time we are going to use the Great Sword of Damnation on plus 10 and we need any seal with a very good phase scaling to use it as our main weapon to cast our incantations and buffs. We are going to use in our left hand weapon the Frenzied Flame seal to increase the damage of the Frenzied Flame incantations. This one doesn't need to be upgraded. We are going to use it only in our left hand weapon to receive its passive effect. In the same way we are going to use the Mad in Hand. We don't need to fit the requirements to be able to use this weapon. We only need it for its passive buff that is 7.5% with each madness proc. And we need any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Tash of War to easily dodge the Radan's Light Explosion attack and the Commander Gaius Charge attack. We are going to be rocking 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by 6% and the Black Dumpling that with each madness proc it will increase our damage by 10%. The best talismans we can use for this build are the H1 Exultation that will increase our damage by 20% with each madness proc and to get the most out of the incantations we are going to use the Fire Scorpion Charm, the Flux Canvas Talisman and the Faithful Canvas Talisman. With the incantations that can be charged, we can use the Gold 3 Icon. And in very long boss fights, we can use the Old Lord's Talisman to keep our buffs active. And to get the max performance from the weapon and the Golden Crook skill, we are going to use the Sacred Scorpion Charm, the Shard of Alexander, and the Dagger Talisman. However, in my opinion, the incantations are the best source of damage in most scenarios. The only situations where I see more optimal using the weapon than the incantations is when facing NPC-like enemies or against enemies that are extremely resistant to fire damage. But once again, in the majority of scenarios, I prefer to use the incantations. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear. Once again, if you want to use the weapon mostly, you can replace the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear with the Holy Shrouding Crack Tear. This weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Legs to boost your stamina recovery speed. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. Be mindful that it's not going to be quite easy compared to other builds. First, in our left hand weapon, we need to have equipped the Madness Hand, or the Mad in Hand, I don't remember the exact name. And we are going to use the seal that we have in our main weapon slot to cast the incantations. First we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we are going to cast Golden Vow and we are going to use a Pickle Tortel Neck. Then we are going to cast Midras Frenzy Flame to be able to build up enough madness before using Hall of Shabriri. So we cast it immediately, like... Uh... 
uh, there. There is more than enough. Now we cast Howl of Shabriri. And this way we are going to have our buffs active. Now we use uh, FP Flask, then HP Flask. And with that, we should be ready to go. This way we are going to deal a lot of damage with the weapon and even more with the incantations. But I know that this type of overroutine is not for everyone. And I actually don't feel that it's very complicated, but in some situations it might feel tedious. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Let's do it. Let's get this big hit. Remove. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is very nice. Come on, baby, let's go! <laughs> Amazing! And immediately we use it. We must have enough time. Purple there. Take this. Oh. I take the risk. Oh, baby, come on! <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> come on, baby, let's do this. That's very good. Very nice. Come on, baby. I guess I'll need more damage. Oh, I can get it here. Is it finally, guys? Just get down, bad boy. Come on. Ah, heal. And this time it should work fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wish me luck. Nice. Oof, that was close. Come on. I was quite far away, bro. <laughs> and now we go. Let's do this, guys. Quickly. Big bang. Another one. Boom. Amazing. Be careful here. Oh, careful. That's nice. Come on. Oh my god, again! We are close, bro. <gasps> okay, okay, let's finish it this time. And say goodbye, bad boy. Oh! <laughs> I'm a sniper, bro. <laughs> oh my god, it's okay, it's okay. I see. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Two heavy attacks. That's good. Oh, perfect, perfect. Another one. There goes another one. He's going down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why is this so random? Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.
Attends-moi. Ok. Oh mon baby. Let's go, come on baby. Give me the crit hit and finish him. Come on. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. That's more than decent. <laughs> That's good, that's good, let's go. My god, this is unbelievable, bro. It's okay, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my god. What?